Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Getting ready here to do some oracle messages for you for the time you listen to this reading and going forward in the month of May. If you're new to my channel, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link so that you can book your reading with me. Okay, so Virgo, obviously you're looking kind of bored here. There's a situation like you're trying to figure out what to do about something or make a decision. You're feeling unfulfilled. Um, might be a little bit of apathy or just not knowing what the next step is with something here in your life. Okay. Um, boredom doesn't mean like, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything other than that. Like there's a lack of fulfillment is what I feel like is going on here, okay? So it seems like there's a message here for you to take a look at that. Um, there's something here about soul enrichment, needing to enrich your soul. Maybe it's taking some kind of class, learning a new skill, um, spending more time with friends and family. Um, somebody might be bored in a relationship. Uh, nothing's happening. It's kind of dreary and dull. Need, somebody needs to spice something up here in their love life or needing someone to spice something up with them. Okay, you also have material wish being granted. So something that you've been waiting for or wishing for. Um, so material, anything that's material, tangible, um, whatever, it could be a big purchase or it could be um, a loan, it could be a financial thing. You've got a financial decision here that's being made and I feel like whatever this decision is that you make, um, I feel like you're gonna get what it is that you are hoping for, okay? Um, you also have a new chapter, okay? This is the world energy here, so you're being asked here just to stop living in the rearview mirror, Virgo. You can look back in the past one more time. Um, let it go. Don't forget where. Don't forget history, or else it'll repeat itself. Um, but if you have to look back on the past for any reason, use it to help you rewrite a new chapter in your life here. Okay. So there's a message here for you to travel do more traveling if you can, even if it's local, whatever it is, get moving, um, explore the world, go to the sea, the beach, space, explore your psych, um, learn some psychology, meet new people, um, live your best life and allow the past to just cycle out here. There's a new journey ahead. You can take someone with you or just go on your own, but go. The message here is for you to go okay um, this material wish being granted I feel like is going to help you be able to go forward with something that you want to do in your life okay what other messages here do we have for Virgo what else does Virgo need to know okay this flipped out flipped back and then it's out again okay putting in effort here so there's definitely an energy what you the energy you put in, the effort you put in, you will receive in return. But you, you have to be the one to get the ball rolling in whatever area that is in your life. <clears throat> whatever area is lacking or making you feel bad or making you feel unfulfilled or unhappy or you're bored, it's because you, the, the message I'm getting is, don't wait for someone to make you happy. Don't wait for someone to entertain or fulfill your needs and your wishes and desires. Put in the effort to do that for yourself. Okay? You really have to start thinking, you know, you're going to get out of life what you put into it. Right? So if you're not really putting anything in, you're, it's energy. So you're not going to get anything back. So I feel like... Your advice here is to start trying to do a little bit more of that each day. Whatever it is, even if it's just minimal, just some little bit of effort. And I'm also hearing 
Stop putting effort into things that you're not going to get a return on. The more you put in does not guarantee you're going to get that back, right? So what I mean is like, I mean, that's not, that's not fully true because it just depends what it is. But if you're doing something or you have been putting effort into something, whether it's a career or a relationship or whatever, but you're, you're putting in so much effort and you're doing everything and you're not getting anything in return, then you need to take a look at that and ask yourself, okay, is this, is this, is reciprocal? Is this working? Um, you know, if you overwater your flowers, they're going to drown. So you may need to pull back a little bit of your energy, putting in the effort, put it, each situation is different. So take a look at your situation. Does something, do, do these flowers need a bit more water? Do they just need consistent effort, just a little bit each day? And I'm using this as an example, or do they, or am I putting too much water on them? Okay, so this feels like a um, message of discernment. You need to figure out what's worth putting your time and energy into and what is not. What's worth it to you? Okay, let's see. What else do you have for Virgo? What other messages do we have here for Virgo? Okay, good friends. Okay, so you've got some good friends around you, or you will. And here's the word hope again. Yesterday we had the word hope. Okay, when you wish upon a star, <laughs> makes no difference who you are. Uh, all right, we got some Disney stuff going on here. Dreams come true. Your hope, faith, and wishes will be restored. Just make a wish right now and believe that it is yours. Okay, something here if you're wishing for friends or um, a, a social life because you're feeling bored. Um, and that will come to you if you're hoping, but you, you know, you have to kind of do a little bit of a reach out. Yeah, um, some of you are like, I've been reaching out and nobody's reaching back out. Well, then maybe they're just not your soul tribe. Okay. Um, let's see what else is going on here for Virgo. Another message. Okay. We also have a message here to stand your ground in something, whatever you've got going on, standing up for yourself, standing your ground, don't back down, don't, you're always going to get pushback when you stand your ground, right, Virgo, people are always going to push back, because people don't like it when they can't control you, <clears throat> you'll find out real quick who those people are when you stand up for yourself, if their intentions were good for you, right so I don't know what this is about going on in your life here but I feel like it's really important the month of May that you stand up for yourself have healthy boundaries healthy boundaries don't accept less than you deserve some of you are reevaluating your career okay so you're thinking about a career change in your life um, need more money in the bank looking to have a more secure home base. Maybe you're um, trying to buy a home or thinking about buying a new home, okay? Or, or just having a, you know, it's a Ten of Pentacles energy. Some of you want to leave a legacy. Or you just want to make sure that you have like enough, like a good savings or good solid foundation financially. And that could have something to do with this financial decision that's coming in for you, okay? You've got a big, you've got a big, big decision you need to make big changes. Okay, let's take a look at some of the tarot. Let's see what the messages are here. Messages for Virgo. Okay, so you've got the Five of Wands, so definitely a little bit of conflict showing up here. What's this conflict about? What's going on for Virgo? Okay. All right. You don't trust somebody. You think somebody is a liar or they're betraying you. Um, you're just trying, some of you might be trying to recover from some conflict. You might find yourself in that position trying to recover from some conflict with someone who 
was a little bit maybe sneaky or just ran away. You might have had someone who, um, or you might have someone who comes in and causes drama and trouble and then they disappear and then they ghost you, okay? You're not trusting this energy here, okay? Because somebody who's doing that is, you know, um, they're playing games. They're being sneaky. So I'm not sure who that is, but you need to pay attention to this. Somebody who is coming in and stirring the pot, poking the bear, ding dong ditch, and then they're running away again. Um, you're also trying to bring peace to a conflict, I see, in May, okay? Um, with someone who is just seven of swords, you know? being sneaky and deceptive you're just trying to get some peace of mind from it's an obstacle it feels like it's an obstacle this somebody comes in in your life it just wreaks havoc or causes problems or causes trouble I'm not sure who that would be but I feel like you know this energy when it comes up um, you might need to like for some of you I'm hearing with the five of wands and the four of swords you need to like ghost this person. You need to like pull your energy back. Um, if someone's trying to engage you in some kind of drama or problems in May, it, it could be one person, two people, whatever the deal is, whatever somebody's doing here. Um, your advice here is for swords, retreat, get away from them. Okay, so you have the Nine of Cups which is good. This is a wish card, wish fulfillment. What's this about? What's going on with the wish card? Wish fulfillment for Virgo. Oh, okay. Breaking free. So something that you have going on in your life um, or will have going on in your life in May, um, there's a need here to break free, to start over, refresh, um, have a new beginning, a new adventure in your life. Um, the fool is like a newborn baby to be reborn again, okay, in whatever way. Um, I feel like that's going to happen for you. You're, it feels like um, you've been carrying around some heavy, heavy weight in your, in your life or in your past. And now you're um, really, I feel like I hear you saying, I just wish that I could just get free of this. This is so hard for me. I can't. It's weighing so heavily on me. And I feel like that wish is going to come true here. You're, you're going to be able to have a new beginning and a new start. Let's take a look at love. I mean, I thought I was taking a look at love, but... One second. Sorry about that. I know where I put my deck. <laughs> All right. Oh, so you've got the Six of Cups and you have the Star. So there is someone's initiating communication coming up in the month of May. Aquarius energy here for some. Um, someone that's been kind of hiding or there hasn't been any communication with this person, right? Hiding energy, Pisces. Um, you're going to get some clarity. Somebody's going to. Uh, there's going to be a breakthrough in communication. Somebody coming in to try to heal something. You also have engagement ring, uh, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So someone's going to... I feel like someone from your past is returning or there's something here about reconciliation with someone and um, a new beginning coming here. Uh, our commitment, there's conversation, breaking the ice I just heard. Somebody's going to break the ice. Okay, you've got the dragonfly. So let's see if you could see these. Let me just show them to you because I know it's a little bit dark here. Okay, engagement ring. And the dragonfly. Okay, and the dragonfly energy is... Being lighthearted, finding something out, things coming to light, adopting, adapting, changing, and healing. Okay, so we got healing here with the star. This is like lifting off, taking off, being free. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, somebody's coming in here to give you some clarity um, about something. Now, reconciliation and engagement ring, you know, it could be just a friend, um, reconciling with a friend. For some, it could be a lover. Somebody wants to marry you or gives you a gift, a symbol of, or a token of um, eternal love which is beautiful. Like I said, it could be a friend. Um, it could be engagement to be married. Somebody breaks through and, and talks with you about that. Okay. So you've got clock. Okay, this is timing here, divine timing. So um, it doesn't have to be somebody that you were involved with in the past, okay? Time to heal and progress. This could be someone that you just knew before. Maybe you knew when you were younger. And um, it doesn't have to be the ex that you <laughs> are not with anymore. Okay? Just I just want to make that clear. Um, you'll, you'll see. You'll know. There's definitely reconciliation. It could have been a friend. It could be a friend for some that's coming through. And, you know, this is someone... Um, Who's in the public eye, I feel, could be. Or there's just an energy of someone who is wants to renew this connection with you and then, you know, have something go forward or progress. Okay, so you've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so it feels, and the Six of Cups is a soulmate card. So not, this is not a twin flame kind of thing. So it's not someone that you had a struggle with. This is um, communication starting up. Yeah, look, release your ex, okay? The time has come to clear your energy. So this is not your ex. This is someone that you knew, okay? That has an interest in you and um, wants to get together with you and, you know, talk about marriage or they might tell you they were engaged. Um, and then that ended or they broke that off. Okay, yeah, there's flirtatious. So you, definitely somebody's going to be flirting with you in the month of May. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be interested in, in anyone. You Maybe you are. Maybe you're like, yeah, I'm ready. But uh, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And that's what the dragonfly er, he, here is. Be lighthearted. You're going to find something out. Something's coming to light. For, you're going to find something out about somebody. And somebody having a very strong interest in you. Um, wanting to take something to the next level a progressive relationship to its fullest um, this person I mean they have a, um, a soft spot for you is, is this an in love thing I don't know but I think it, it, I'm not feeling that quite yet but I do feel like it's something that can grow Two people falling in love, two people who are kindred souls is what I'm feeling. That soulmate energy. Okay. So you've got air. So for somebody who's an air sign, seek a union of mind and spirit. Okay. This person coming in, seek a union of mind and spirit. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay. For some of you. This is like being connected um, to people who, ha who are of the same mind, meaning of the minds, and have the same spirit beliefs or spiritual beliefs. Is this somebody who's religious? Could have been, or they could be. Um, but whatever you are, that's what they are. Okay? Whatever you are, that's what they are. Okay, you've got a king. Wow. Authority and diplomacy. Okay, this person's coming in um, with a leadership role. They're in a leadership role. That's what I was saying. It could be somebody in the public eye. Um, this could be an Aries for some of you. But this is somebody who's, you know, um, it feels alpha. Alpha male, alpha female. Um, but this is also for you to be diplomatic in all of your dealings in your life going forward from this point on. Be diplomatic. 
um, but retain your authority. Okay. Let's see one more. Okay, you've got the uni the unicorn, good fortune and friendship. Wow, that's amazing. So I do feel like this is a soulmate, but it's a friend. Are you were friends with them before, or there was some type of? It's not like that undying attraction or crazy like obsessive person that comes in that you can't get enough of but is like um leaves a wake of destruction in your life that person is gone <laughs> if you were with someone like that that person is gone this is somebody coming in here who's i feel like you both find out that you're on the same page you, you not only have good chemistry but you're both compatible which is beautiful and you both have the same spiritual beliefs like there's alignment here with two people and I feel like you're going to be able to move forward in your life um, with a friend that could become a lover or just with a friend that you gain partnership for life let me see I just want to get a couple of more tarot messages here Oh, wow. I'm only going to get one. You've got the lovers here. So for some of you, this is a lover. <laughs> this is a lover. This is two people who are coming together. Very similar in their beliefs. Vulnerability will be here. Two people who are vulnerable with each other, honest with each other, truthful, expose each other. Um, there's nothing hidden. A decision gets made in the month of May. Two people decide to choose one another. Partnership. I mean, I feel like the love aspect of this reading is refreshing. And it feels like it's um, just kind of like um, a snapshot. Let me take a look and see when this person's going to be coming in for you. Actually... Yeah, but I'm going to use my tarot card to do it. When is this person, when is this union, soulmate, friends to lovers, when is this going to happen here for Virgo in the month of May? Will this energy be playing out in May and when? Okay, for some it's going to be in two weeks. Oh my goodness, two weeks. Yeah, that's like close to the end of the, I'm telling love is love is going to be very busy in May so two weeks from now that's like around May 25th the week of May 22nd through the 28th all right let me see okay 29th May 29th so it's a Sunday um so yeah, remember I was saying something was going to happen around the new moon, the 16th, or the full moon, and then something was going to happen on the new moon, which is the 30th. So I feel like that towards the end of May is when things are going to start playing out here, but it's definitely going to be around the 29th of May. Okay, so be prepared. You might already be talking or communicating with someone, a friend. You find a kinship with a friend you know, um, which is like such a beautiful thing to have a, a, a deep kinship and partnership with a friend that could possibly turn into lovers, um, you know, depending on your preferences. Um, or it just could be friends for life, like friendship for life, like bound together with each other. Um, it's beautiful. I love the lovers ending this reading. So I'm going to leave that for you, Virgo. I hope that you enjoy that. And um, I will be back tomorrow with another quickie reading. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.